CCA is unique because it's an architecture school inside of an art school. What it gives CCA is a real drive toward innovation and creativity. Because people come in with a lot of life experience with very diverse backgrounds in other fields, the more theoretical dialogue really enriches the conversation about the work. Trying to bring together everyone's expertise and to create a new expertise out of these combinations. My studios at CCA have gone from everything from the small scale to the large scale. Every advanced studio is in essence concerned with something that is really reaching beyond sort of the local context of CCA to much broader questions and challenges. There is a desire to make the world better through design. The idea that environmental and sustainable practices should be embedded in architectural education is essentially a, a given. The way CCA actually tries to take that question, I think, a little bit further is by not necessarily compromising design for it. Every single one of the courses that I've taken so far have been open enough for you to investigate the things that you're most interested in. What CCA really does support is for the individual, the student, to really kind of hone in and cultivate their own style. The community of students is supportive in a way that everybody is interested in seeing the best work out of everybody else. It really felt that the people that were teaching here really wanted to teach here, that they love the subject. It's not about uh, the faculty providing all the answers to students, but it's really more of a kind of collaborative experience. We're all kind of here together experimenting and making something new. Just being in the company of all this innovations going on, it pushes the individual to want to move forward as well. You're constantly alive, you're like looking, and it's very stimulating all the time. If there's something that interests you, it'll fit somewhere in CCA, and I'm sure that if it doesn't, then you can make it happen, definitely. It's an institution that's alive instead of an institution that's focused on the past. As somebody who likes to build things with their hands and to experiment with materials, the, the shops at CCA have been incredible. Machines that we use here at CCA, for instance a CNC router or a laser cutter, that there are kind of analogs at the larger scale. We're kind of constantly going between the digital and the physical and each realm offers different information to the design process. When you're walking down the hall and you see all this very inspiring work going on, that may be in your program, maybe outside of your program, you're thinking about the world through a wider lens. Student work is exhibited daily and that student work is good student work. I look to see what people are producing here because it's current and happening now. We try to have every student as they go through either the BARC or the MARC program have an opportunity to study abroad. Getting out and experiencing something outside of your world is extremely important during our education. You're on the one hand coming to a school but you're also coming to a city. Here it's like right plugged in, like everything's here. I mean, we have San Francisco as our backdrop. I think the location of CCA is perfect for activating that student life and that student culture. So one of the great things about architecture is that it's a kind of perfect blend between the arts and sciences. And the education of an architect really prepares you for many, many things. You know, architecture is not only about uh, design or just building buildings. People hire architects because they're thinkers, because they can actually kind of diversify and think of different problems and different issues at the same time. The broadness of exposure that a student gets coming to CCA allows them then to be very uh, versatile once they're out of here. There's all these different facets of architecture that are continuously being investigated around you. That's inspiring.